<laughs> Hi guys, I'm Wes from Brian West Photography and Forever Photo Booth, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the photo booth setup that we use at events and weddings. So, about a year ago, I had the idea of adding a photo booth onto our wedding photography business. Photo booths are super popular at weddings, and we always try and jump in ourselves and catch a photo, and um, they're really fun. And because of that, I've seen a lot of different setups. I've seen really elaborate booths that are fully enclosed with uh, big touch screens, multiple screens, all that. Um, but sometimes these fancy booths didn't even really produce the best image. So, I set out to create a photo booth with the following goals in mind. The first goal is to create a booth that was easy to operate. I wanted it to be able to be fully automated and used by the guests, uh, so if I had to step away to help take photos of the reception, the booth could keep running. Now, we have found that it does help to have somebody there um, at all times to help keep the bo booth moving along, uh, but regardless, it had to be easy to use. I already have a ton of stuff to carry on a wedding day, and I don't have a lot of time. So the next goal was to create something that was easy to set up and super portable. The next goal was actually more of a constraint. I had an iPad available that I could dedicate to this project, so I really wanted to use that. I didn't want to have to go out and buy a Windows tablet or another tablet to make this thing work. <laughs> oh man. Uh, the last goal, and probably the most important, was to create a booth that produced a quality image. I was going to attach this photo booth to my brand as a professional photographer, and if I did that, it needed to produce the goods. A crisp, well-lit image that you'd be proud of. Okay, so let's talk about some of the components of the booth uh, and how I put it together. We'll start here with the camera. This baby is a Canon 70D. Um, although you don't need a camera that expensive, uh, just get one that has Wi-Fi and one that has a hot shoe so you can put a flash on it. Speaking of the flash, up here I've got a Canon 430EX2. Um, you could also use one of these, a Yongnu 600RT2. And I have another video on these flashes if you're interested for a third party option that's a lot cheaper and has uh, pretty good functionality for um, you know, something that's not made by Canon or Nikon. Moving right on down, I've got the iPad mini here. Again, this was an iPad that I had. I didn't go out and buy it just for this, but it's been working great. Um, the iPad mini is mounted to the tripod with uh, this pretty sturdy clamp mount thing. Uh, I found it on Amazon. Definitely get something really sturdy here. You want a sturdy tripod and a sturdy iPod mount. Otherwise, when people are touching it, uh, stuff's going to shake around. It's not going to be a very professional setup. You'll notice that the tripod itself is dressed in uh, this fabric. So uh, the first time I set up the booth, I didn't have anything over the tripod. It was just by itself. It was naked. And um, it looked really bad. It didn't look professional. You had all the wires and everything underneath, and um, I didn't like it. So I noticed that DJs were using these things to cover their speaker stands for the same reasons. So I asked a guy about it at a wedding. He told me they were called scrims, and I went online and found them. They also sell my Guitar Center, um, and covered up my uh, stands with that, and I think it really brought the booth to the next level of professionalism. So if you're going to use a tripod uh, or a setup like mine, I really highly suggest you get these um, to make everything look super nice. Uh, there was one complication with this. Um, it started to, the stretchy fabric actually started to squeeze uh, the legs of the tripod in, and that's a no-no. We don't want to send the 70D to the floor. That would be very, very bad for me. <laughs> um, so I just came up with a simple solution. I actually cut a little piece of wood uh, out of the, in a, to a triangle shape, cut little notches in the corner, and stuffed it in so that it would counteract the forces from the uh, stretchy material there. Um, and it was pretty easy to do. I actually, to make the notches, I just scraped the piece of wood on a curb. So uh, tools are for wimps. Uh, just get it done. <laughs> Next up, we've got the ring light here by Newer. Uh, this thing's great. I find tons of uses for it, including lighting this video. Um, uh, it really attracts people to the booth. They see the ring light. They think it looks cool. They know what it is. And it brings them in like a moth to a flame. So I'd say getting a ring light is a huge uh, upgrade for your booth. Um, I really like having it. Um, the flash is really doing most of the work lighting my pictures, but this thing just adds some fill and it's really cool. So, you might have noticed that I didn't show you a printer. That's because I don't have one. Right now, I'm sending the photos to the customers uh, via email. 
uh, straight from the Wi-Fi booth. Um, it does also allow for wireless printing. I just haven't purchased a printer yet. It will probably be something I consider adding in the near future. So now let's talk about software. Um, because I was going to use an iPad, uh, my options were somewhat limited. The two best iOS apps I found for making a photo booth was one called Simple Booth and one called Wi-Fi Booth. Simple Booth was the first one I picked up, and it was really great. Um, it had a lot of cool features and options. I could text uh, images and send emails to the customers. Um, it also could do GIFs, which was really cool, but it was limited in use because it could only use this little camera right here. I could not attach um, uh, an outside camera, like a DSLR, like I wanted to, to really bump the quality up. And I also couldn't fire a flash, so that was kind of a deal breaker for me. Next up, I found Wi-Fi Booth. So Wi-Fi Booth answered my prayers because I could connect a uh, outside camera and it could fire a flash. Um, that allowed me to bump up my quality significantly and um, still use the iPad that I had and still use uh, the other features that I had set up. Wi-Fi Booth also can email photos directly to the clients um, and it allows for printing. When I first got it, it didn't do GIFs, but now it can do those as well. Now, the one thing I don't like about Wi-Fi Booth is it depends on the wireless functionality within the camera um, to connect things together. I actually use a router, and I connect the camera to the router, and I connect the iPad to the router. Um, but there's a couple of different configurations you can do, and there's really good documentation on their website about how to do that. I wish there was a tethered option, though, because relying on the Wi-Fi makes me nervous. I have had some times where I had to restart the app because it disconnected from the camera, but overall it's been pretty good. As far as I know, there are no tethered options when using an iPad. Now, if you want to go the Windows route, uh, DSLR booth has pretty good reviews online, and um, honestly, a Windows tablet these days, like, you can get a pretty cheap one. Um, so if I was starting from scratch, I would seriously consider going that route um, just for the tethered options to have security of a hard wire. That being said, maybe I should just shut up about it because Wi-Fi Boost works really well for me and I'm going to continue to use it in a professional setting. Okay guys, well that's about it for me. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about my photo booth setup. If I was starting from scratch right now, I'd seriously consider some of those pre-made options out there. Photo Booth Supply Co. makes a really slick booth. Uh, it's probably worth checking out. That being said, I'm really happy that I did the DIY thing and created something that I, I like and I'm proud of. Uh, and I've got a real professional setup now that's making me money. So let me hear about your setups in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about the photo booth, it's Forever Photo Booth uh, on Instagram. And then the photography business is Brain West Photography. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, have a good one. Subscribe.